Hello everybody, welcome to Sermon on the Go. Uh, on October the 18th, we keep the Feast of St. Luke, the author of the Gospel which bears his name and the Acts of the Apostle which continues on from the Gospel of Luke. By tradition, he is the patron saint of doctors. That's because he was one himself. St. Paul calls him three times the beloved physician. As a doctor, he was filled with compassion for those whose lives have been met with the adversity of ill health and who came to him in their need. It is not surprisingly, therefore, that Luke's gospel account is the most compassionate of all four and his interest is in the human being who finds in Jesus wholeness and healing as the commentator of Jerome's Bible commentary says in his compassionate mission to all and by his election of the twelve Jesus laid the foundation for reconstituted Israel. Jesus' mission is an inclusive one as he seeks out the lost and sinners and restores them to the union with God. The human encounters recorded by Luke in his gospel between Jesus and the needy are shot through with a deep concern for the well-being of others. St. Luke has been an inspiration for many in the medical and care professions and is associated with the church's ministry of healing. Healing is much more than helping people to get better from a particular illness or ailment. Healing is about becoming whole in body, mind, and spirit. The spiritual side of healing must never be neglected because often it is the key to other forms of healing. And that part of healing is connected with prayers. This is why it is imperative for people to pray without season, particularly prayers for the sick. It is important for us to offer intercessory prayers for those who are sick and are going through uh, the care system. Healing is also connected to wholeness of the soul and therefore linked to spiritual guidance. And this sometimes involves dealing specifically with our own sins. The things that makes us guilty and restless in our hearts. The church's ministry of reconciliation, penance and confession is also part of the healing process. Friends, all of this is rooted in the gospel message. Therefore, may I encourage you to study, read, and meditate on the gospels, particularly the gospel of Luke, to meet Jesus, who is ultimately the greatest healer of all time. And as we approach Bible Sunday this week, and think of the gift of God's holy word. What a better place to start the healing process than to read the gospel of Luke, the good physician of the soul, who through his writings opened to us the wholesome medicine of the gospel message. Let us pray. Almighty God, who inspired Luke, the physician, to proclaim the love 
and healing power of your son, Jesus Christ. Give your church by the grace of the spirit and the medicine of the gospel, the same love and power to heal through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. My dear friends, don't forget to follow me on TikTok and YouTube and share this message. I shall see you soon. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>